So moving on to our next anemia is aplastic anemia. Aplastic word comes from Greek aplasio. A means nothing and plasio means to form something new. So there is no formation of new blood cells in the bone marrow which results in anemia. So this is called aplastic anemia because the problem is in bone marrow. It is actually normocytic anemia with low reticulocyte count. So this is the histological illustration of normal bone marrow. Here you see this large white substance is called adipocytes storing a large amount of fat. And here these large cells are called megakaryocytes. And these dark purplish cells are called mature myeloblast which will produce reticuloblast then reticulocyte and from it the RBCs will form. Number 2 it will produce megakaryocytes which will produce the platelets. Number 3 it will produce the granulocytes which will produce neutrophil, basophil and eosinophils. For detailed discussion of these cell lineage watch our video on blood cells lineage. Here we see these are the immature myeloblast and between them we can see these are the reticuloblast and reticulocytes. Now let's move on to the real histological slide of bone marrow aspiration of aplastic anemia. Here we see these are the adipocytes, this is the megakaryocyte, these are the mature myeloblast and these are the immature myeloblast. And lastly we can see this is the reticuloblast. Now let's see the histological illustration of aplastic bone marrow. Here you see there is increased number of adipocytes and blood cells and hematopoietic cells become less. So there is decreased cellularity which will result in less hematopoietic stem cell causing low reticulocyte count and this will lead to anemia. As the production of RBCs is decreased in bone marrow so this is called aplastic anemia and there is increased fibrous tissue in bone marrow and let's compare it with the real histological slide of aplastic bone marrow. And here you see there is increased amount of adipocytes in this bone marrow and less hematopoietic stem cells. This is called dry tap bone marrow because when we try to aspirate the bone marrow for the examination purpose we get nothing, no or minimal sample collection. So that's why it is called dry tap bone marrow. And due to this decreased production of blood cells, we found pancytopenia such as thrombocytopenia and granulocytopenia. And when we try to deal this case with multiple transfusions, there is iron overload in the body which is called hemocytosis because the body have no mechanism to get rid of increased amount of iron in the body which will result in hemocytosis. And this concludes our section of aplastic anemia.